too you. tiny next to this kid, dude. I do. I feel like I'm a little man. He's a big old boy here. Yo, what's up, guys? Luke Callahan of the Disc Golf Kid here. I'm joined with Nico Locastro. First off, what is your favorite tournament you've played this year and why? Honestly, it's going to be the Preserve Championship because it was my first Disc Golf Pro Tour event, and I just had a really good vibe. I got to camp out there, and my good friend Kale LaVisca, you know, that was his first time running and organizing uh, a course on his property. So I feel like that that was just a, a overall amazing feeling for me to uh, to win a Disc Golf Pro Tour event since I never have before, and it was just it was very satisfying to be there the whole week. I was just vibing with everybody, with friends, and had a really good time. Yeah. All right. So next up, what are some of your main goals for next year? I want to be the hardest working disc golfer in the world, and that's that's my commitment to myself right now. I'm 32 years old, and uh, I feel like this year. I was dedicated, but I believe that I can unlock a next level of dedication, and I know that's what I'm going to do at this point. And sticking to that, I'm, I'm going to work very, very hard for 2021. Awesome. So pretty similar to that, what are some of your goals for the rest of your career? I want to be a world champion. That was my main goal since I started playing disc golf, was to have my name next to the title world champion. And that's something I think about every single day of my life. So I'd say that's my main goal. I'd also like to win another U.S. title, at least one more, maybe more. So we'll see how it plays out next year, but I have I have a lot of goals going into next season. But those two are uh, something that run through my mind every single day, being yeah. a world champion, and I'd also like to win a European Open as well. That's a good one. That's mm -hmm. a fun course. If you could go back in time and tell your 13-year-old self one thing, what would it be? Only one. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself one. and work harder than anybody else. I, I, I truly believe that hard work pays off in this world no matter what it is that you're doing. If you're truly dedicated to something and you've made up your mind, I believe it's amazing what a man or a woman or anybody can do once they've made up their mind. Yeah. And I made up my mind when I was a kid. I said I was, I'm going to be the number one disc golf player in the world and that's something that stuck with me all the time. Mm -hmm. And even at 32 years old, I, I feel that I have a very good chance to have a better year in 2021 than I did in 2020. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life, and uh, I'm, I'm very dedicated to the sport of disc golf, and I'm also just very grateful to be able to uh, to travel for a living and, and meet all these amazing people. I mean, like, it's it's a special feeling to be a part of the disc golf culture. Yeah. So where do you see disc golf as a sport in the next 10 years? I think it's blowing up. It's, it's going in a very positive direction. I see an impact in communities all across the United States and across the world, and I think with the amount of people that are pushing to make disc Disc golf bigger and bigger and bigger it's only gonna grow you know this course is only three weeks old I mean they've been they've been working really hard to uh, to have a big tournament in this area you know down south and, and you know put put an A tier on in South Carolina so yeah. it's growing everywhere I see I see big things happening for this I mean kids like you are coming to look at you I mean I'm 32 years. look how tall you are kid you practice all the time I've seen your skills I mean, you're gonna be up there in the next few years so I see uh, I see a lot more young players actually that are gonna have a chance to win tournaments and I think there's a there's a lot of reasons behind that you know the uh, the media production and the way that disc golf is portrayed right now it has a lot of people uh, practicing you know what I'm saying they have a lot of pros to look up to and a lot of people to watch on the television to you know learn the, the proper technique and everything like that but you know I have a lot of things going on right now man I'm super grateful you know you gave me an interview kid and I, I see you coming up in the sport I've been following you for quite some time and I'm a, a long I'm time yeah I he, was, he was actually probably one of my first followers yeah. like within a yeah. hundred I followed you right away I was like this kid's gonna be somebody I could tell by your demeanor your attitude and your passion for the sport of disc golf so uh, I really wish you the best in the, in the upcoming you. future Future, man, and I think some great things are in store for uh, for everybody involved in disc golf. Honestly, thank you. So, last question: What was your first ever tournament win? And give as many details as possible if you can remember. My first ever tournament win, I believe it was at Ozark Mountain, which was a, a private disc golf facility that had three disc golf courses in one location. It was on my family property, and uh, it was just you know that that was a, a special feeling for me. Uh, you know, just coming up as a kid and something that, that kind of got me going in, in the right direction. Yeah, I made up my mind early that, that I was going to be a full-time disc golfer from the time that I that I started playing. I knew that this was my lifelong passion and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been an amazing ride. I feel, I 
feel a lot of emotions every time that I come out to the disc golf course and uh, it always gives me something to look forward to with disc golf. Yeah. I believe that every time I travel, I meet new people, I get to experience, I get to have new experiences in my life and you know that's all you can really ask for from anybody so if anybody ever has the chance to travel and play new courses I would highly recommend doing that you know go yeah. go practice new parks it's gonna it's gonna help you become a better player and also you get the visuals on uh, different you know different trees and different surroundings and you know that's what life's about creating experiences man. all right before we let you go anything they can do to help support you discs anything like that honestly you guys just pay attention to my journey and uh, keep an eye out because I'm I'm very focused right now on being my best that I can be on and off the course and I have a I have a great love and appreciation for the sport of disc golf and everybody that plays uh, looking forward to, uh, to 2021 2020s you know slowly coming to an end here we're wrapping it up it's one of my last big tournaments of the year I got at least two more planned but uh yeah all the big tournaments are done looking forward to making an impact in 2021 so you guys you know keep watching it's gonna be great yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Nico, for joining me. If you guys time. are new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.